Well, I've got my bass string tuned up to A. And the other three strings are still standard tuning. And then, and by bringing that bass up to A and leaving the third string at D, we get a lot of support for the high A note. It just rings like crazy. So we get that overtone off of the D string. And it's good for all sorts of things. You know, Scottish marches. Gives the fiddle a ringing, explosive sound. It's great for old time songs like Cindy. Standing in the door, her shoes and stockings in her hand, and her feet all over the floor. But today I want to play Grub Springs and uh, play it and, and talk about it a bit and point out a few characteristic things about about this tune that I haven't heard a whole lot of, <laughs> if at all, anywhere else. Um, well, one thing I have heard other places is one note that you can't get on a fretted instrument. usually hear, but listen carefully to that old Mississippi recording and you'll hear, oh, it's not that. And also, though I can't play it as well as that Library of Congress recording, I'll just do my best. tuned up to E, we'd have to cross over. That's pretty awkward when one string goes so well. Hey, remember how he ends? The double D. So let's see. Um, one thing it's got going is boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Springs in the G higher than G natural, G supernatural. <laughs> 